Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial. Today's review will be Train the Bruiser Bond. Now, um, if you've been following my reviews, just recently I reviewed a, a show, a movie called Alive, hashtag Alive, where it was a um, Asian zombie apocalypse film, and it was subtitles. And, you know, I got my zombie itch right down and nothing's on right now. So I came across it and watched it. Now, and I also said in that review how there has been movies that have been taken from um, Asian films and then created in the U.S. form. And once created in the U.S. form, they took the same storyline, just put it in um, U.S. characters and everything like that. So I said that film, I can see that becoming a U.S. film. I stumbled upon this film as well that I very well could see this because, you know, we crazed over the zombie. Um, there's a zombie apocalypse, uh, you know, I guess you want to say culture or people who, you know, are in tune to that um, films and shows and stuff like that. that. I can see this film being a U.S. film as well. So... Um, I'm pretty much, you know, I, I stumbled upon it, seen the trailer of it, watched it. It's subtitles, but you follow it easy. Now, the, the characters' names, I don't even want to mess the names up. Um, or the actors and actresses' names or whatever. But, you know, just to run it, run it down, you got the main uh, character is Yu Gong. That's the actor name. Um... Yumi Jong, Dong Zhu Ma, and Zuan Kim. Those are pretty much in uh, you know, like the main characters of the, the main actors and actresses, and uh, the main their story titles is Zuan, Zhang Wu, Zuan Kang, and Zhu Gu. So you know. I, if I keep saying all that throughout this whole review, it'll lose you. So I'm not going to be mentioning names of the characters or whatever. I just want to go over that. But basically what it is, is you have a father who's a single parent. It doesn't really state where, where the mom at. He's raising his daughter with his mom at the house. And he's raising his daughter with the mom at the house. And... His mom is helping him raise his daughter. And so he's at work and they're traveling somewhere through the train. And um, it's her birthday coming up. And so he works for this company and he's been seeing um, like the stocks and stuff going down and data and stuff transpiring with the company. So... He's looking and seeing newspaper articles of, like, the fish coming up dead on the um, river and uh, beach and stuff like that. And it's from the chemical plant that he worked for. So, uh, you also see another scene where it's a guy coming through an area. He hits a deer. Gets out, looked at the deer, then rolled off. But then the film, the camera stays on the deer, and you see the deer get back up after the deer was smashed on the ground and get back up. So you know the deer is turned into the zombie. So the dad is tired. He's taking his daughter somewhere. Now the daughter really loves her mom, and the mom left left him. So I think he's transporting the mom, the daughter to the to the mom at the time. So they get on the train, and instantly, as soon as they get on the train. The uh, conductor guy wasn't looking, and when he wasn't looking, somebody desperately ran on the train behind him, and he never seen him. And so the train, the train took off, but the guy that was left on the platform of the train station, he looked up, he seen some commotion going on. Before he noticed, it the zombie was starting to take over, and these are, um, if you part of the zombie culture, these are fast zombies and strong. So the, the zombies started to already take um, take over, and the dad was tired, and his little daughter was there. 
she's looking out the window and she's seen the, the, the conductor guy that was still on the platform something come over and not come on um, tackle him on the ground and the dad was already falling asleep so at that moment she was trying to tell the dad but he was basically blowing her off so like i said the person who slipped on the train had got bitten on her leg and they was trying to um like put the pressure on her leg to stop the whatever was from going through them but of course that didn't stop so now you guys see all these people on this train and it's going to be havoc so that that one person that got on the train they, the the store these people that's on the train came looking for the person and it was a female and she ended up dying and then she turned into the zombie bit her and then it was a group of kids and they're thinking she just stumbling through the um the aisle and but the zombies really biting her she she the zombie finished biting her jumped on somebody else she and then it's it just a train reaction from there so you see the daughter the little girl and the dad the little girl wanders off and she's she ends up in the bear from now the dad is not paying attention to his little um daughter and when she goes to the bear from she runs into this couple uh that was um this couple that was pregnant the woman the the wife was pregnant or the girlfriend was pregnant and then the man he was there now this man is going to be in the movie coming up in 2021 i looked him up he gonna be in the eternals um or whatever he reminds me of i looked up his history of this um uh asian actor don zook ma he looks like the guy from um that played in uh uh dr strange the um chubby um sorcery uh guy also played in the movie gemini as um but gemini man with will smith and he was like the guy that helped Will Smith out that flew on the plane. So that's who he reminds me of, just a picture of who this guy is. And so from there, he and his wife, and she's pregnant. And so now turmoil starts to happen. So he's um, the dad looking for his daughter now. But now everybody turns to zombies, and now they see this big commotion coming. They want to go and lock um, the door. And he almost locked the, the guy out with his wife. And the dude was like, yo, man, you almost locked me out. And he was, you know, he said, don't you owe me an apology? So things were starting to go on. So the dad, um, they see all the commotion going on. And they also realize that when it gets to dark, these people, these zombies only come at you when they can see you in the light. But in the dark, they go blind. So... They put some newspaper up around, you know, in between the uh, the cabs of the train so that the zombies couldn't see them, see them and, you know, apply force to break down the door. So the dad is calling. He's been contacting the whole movie. He'll be contacting this person he got from the outside that worked at the plant with him. And they find out that their plant is the reason all this is happening. And they're getting to different stops and saying, is it clear there? Is it clear there? And finally, he lose contact. So at one moment, they get to one station and they get out. And his boy that talked, the dad's boy told him, like, yo, at that station, they're going to quarantine all those people. You want to, if you need to dip off and... We're going, we're going to grab you before y'all even get to the quarantine. We're going to dip off. So he goes and do that. Meanwhile, when all those other people that was on the train, the daughter's saying, what are you doing? Why are you going this way? And he's telling them reason. And then uh, it was just like, oh, uh, it was just like a, uh, a homeless looking man say, hey, man, I heard, I overheard your conversation. I know they all getting quarantine. I'm trying to go with, you know, with y'all. So he see this person way at the end where they was headed to and he goes and run to that person meanwhile the dad is telling the little girl hey wait here like wait here i'm a, i gotta stop this guy meanwhile all the other people that was on the train 
they're headed down thinking they're going to refuge. And before they know it, they see all these people at the end of where they're going down the escalator and come to find out it's all zombies. And then they, so now they all trying to run. And this the, the guy I, I, with the wife, um, the guy with a wife and that's pregnant. He, you know, you like, wow, she's pregnant. He told her, you know, can you run? And he helped her over the escalator and then they got her going. Meanwhile, back at the dad and the little girl, he trying to grab the other guy, come to find out the zombies coming that way. And now the dad uh, turns around. Before he know it, he see the zombies all behind him where his little daughter was. And the guy and the wife, the pregnant wife, they scoop up the little girl or whatever. So now this time is happening. The it rolls is reversed. The guy with the wife, pregnant wife, helps the, the dad get through with his little girl. So now what you're dealing with is they need to get back on the train. There's there's been an a-hole dude this whole time who pretty much he's selfish. He uh gets in the ear of the um the conductor pretty much telling everybody, like, yo, um, you know, y'all need to leave people and stuff like that. So they got a hassle to get back on the um, train. Now, this time, they all eventually get back on the train, but they're in different parts of the train. So so the groups get split up. And so where all safety is, is the dad and the husband. On the other part is the little girl with the pregnant wife and a... Uh, so two sisters got split. And they're older sisters, and one is in one end, and one is the other. So, the dad and the um, and it's also in the cabin is these young people. So these young people are split too. So, the dad, the husband, and the young person is going to make their way to go rescue the other people and then get back. So they make their way there, not without going through no um you know, obstacles or whatever. So this is a good movie, even though I'm, this is all subtitles. So you really could, you don't really got to read the subtitles. You just see all the action is going. You could pretty much follow everything that's going on. So nevertheless, um, like I said, it's been an a-hole dude the whole time. So when they all went, the girl that was left saying, hey, um, I got some people that they went, they went to go rescue some other people, uh, they're on their way back. And so the guy was like, what? So they went and crossed through all that. They got to be infected on their way in. No, nah, we need to lock them out. So when they finally make it back, the main dude convinced everybody else to lock them out. And so, you know, they one of them got a bat. They break in the window. And so finally they get broken through. And when they finally get broken through, the, the husband with the married wife, he gets bit. When he gets bit, he pretty much, look, man, tell the dad, look, go ahead with your daughter. Protect my wife. I'm going to try to hold these off. I'm getting tired or whatever. And the wife was crying and, you know, dramatic moment. They finally get through. Now the rest of the cabin is siding with the guy that was telling them they could be infected and was basically telling them, y'all need to be in a whole nother cabin. Um, besides us. So they going to stay in that cabin that they just got into. And then there was another cabin that was right after that one. So they put all of them in that cabin. So now you got left the dad, the pregnant wife, and the little girl all in, um, uh, in the, the two young people all in one cabin. Meanwhile, all them people that didn't want them in there, they locked themselves into that cabinet. I said there were two old lady sisters. So the one sister got bit. Now she comes up to the door. Now the other sister is talking to herself, pretty much saying, you always wanted to be the one to help everybody. What did At the end of the day, what did it, what did it get you? Now you dead on that side and I'm alive. Pretty much like, you know. So basically she looking at it, she old. You know, her last active relative just died. So what more does she got to live for? So when everybody's paying attention, locking down, locking themselves in, 
she goes and um, opens the door <laughs> to let the zombies come in. And so the guy that I said that's been an a-hole this whole time, he sees him like, yo, stop that woman, stop that woman. And they couldn't stop her in time. And so you thinking at this time, the autumn zombies came and killed everybody. But when they get to the next stop, you find out that the, the, the guy I said that was an a-hole, he, he survived that or whatever. And him and another guy, the conductor dude that's been following him the whole time, is alive in the bear from hit out. And then he looks out and he sees zombies. And dude says, is it clear? And he was like, yeah, you go first. And then as soon as he went out, he, he pushed him out, let him get eaten while he dipped off. Now... The main engineer guy that was driving the train, he wouldn't, he, when they got to this next, um, booze, uh, booze, um, boozing train stop, he went and went and found another working train or whatever. And in the process of him going to, uh, go get that train, everybody was running into obstacles to, uh, that everybody was running into obstacles to get over to that train because they had to cross over the different chains that were damaged. And this burning train came in and crashed and kind of blocked some of them in. So you've seen the young people, they end up getting, uh, one of them got bit, the girl, and uh, she got bit, and then she bit the other guy. So they was done. And so then all that was left was the a-hole dude. He wouldn't got the the engineer guy that was driving that found a new train. He wouldn't got him killed. So now he was the one conducting the train, and he started to take off on his own. Meanwhile, you had the dad, the pregnant wife, and the little girl. But the dude that drove off in the plane, the a-hole dude that was driving off in the plane, he got bitten in the process. Of everything so now they're all on a train and the, the zombies jumped and grabbed on the train and now they're starting to pull they all jumping on and chop each other like World War Z to slow down the train so the dad goes out kick them off pretty much and then and you thinking that they clear but when he goes to open the main conductor um, the engineer guy that's driving the train it's the a-hole dude. He's turning. So pretty much he's coming out. But he's fully, he's not fully turned yet. He's telling the dad, hey man, help me. Help me or whatever. So the dad should have just went like Brambo Commando on him and just went off, beat him down and kicked him off the train. But you know, this is a movie. They got to make it dramatic. So he let the, 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 the guy fully ch change and him and the guy get in a scuffle. And the guy is getting the best of them, throw them down. And then when a the guy goes after the pregnant wife and the daughter, he runs behind the guy and pits his hand in the guy's mouth. And of course, it's a zombie. So he bites down and he used that bite to pull the zombie away, throw the zombie off of the train. And he pretty much at that time, you like, oh, man, y'all made it this far. And now the dad's dead. So you got the pregnant wife and the little girl that's still alive. He shows the pregnant wife pretty much how to drive the um the train. And he just let himself fall off the train while he was, like, imagining everything about his little girl. And he just fell off the train. you like, dang. So now they're driving on the train, the wife and the little girl. And the tr they get to a part where it's, like, the train stop, like everything, the tracks are dead. So they get off of the train and now they're walking and now they're walking through this tunnel. The wife is weak, of course she's pregnant and the little girl. And so now on the opposite end, you don't know who's behind her, but on the opposite end is the army. And they're looking, they see movement, they don't know who it is, they're looking and they said, it's a, it's a, it's a woman and a, a little, um, and a child. And they was like, can y'all confirm they not affected? They said, no, shoot him. And they was like, kill him or whatever. And so they was about to kill him, but then the little girl started singing. So they know a zombie ain't going to be able to sing. So they instantly was like, oh, 
Um, it's some survivors, you know what I'm saying? And then the army rushes in to grab them and it goes off. So I just gave you that whole rundown review. That was a good movie. Good movie. Um, I was tuned in. Out of my four star rating system, that was a 3.5 out of four star. Good zombie movie. Um, I could definitely see somebody taking that movie and making an American movie easy. And it would, it'll be a hit or whatever. Now, that came out, this movie actually came out in 2016. It's an actual part two to this movie that just came out this year. So I'm going to tune into that. And um, if you're catching this review, subscribe and like, share the video. Uh, stay tuned to the part two to this. Now, this this review is on the train to Boozin, and the next one is called Pen Peninsula. So I, I'm I'm eager to see uh, what happens in part two to this. So um, like I said again, subscribe and like to the channel. Till next time.